SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. We are previewing UFC 166 here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking right now with Nick Kalikas, professional MMA odds maker from MMAoddsbreaker.com. And our call-in guest is uh, Brian Hemminger from uh, MMAoddsbreaker.com as well. He is the uh, managing editor there. And right now we're going to discuss Daryl Montague and John Dodson. And, you know, a lot of people are excited for uh, Montague making his uh, UFC debut. He's a big underdog, plus 270. Should be that big of an underdog? Not exactly sure. What do you think, Brian? Yeah, this is a, a really compelling fight because uh, Montague, in everybody's eyes, I think, was the one guy that was a top 10 flyway that the UFC hadn't signed right. yet. And then he finally gets picked up. So I'm incredibly excited to see him make his UFC, de UFC debut. He was the Tachi Palace flyweight champion until Ian McCall knocked him off. And then Ian McCall immediately comes over and gets in that title tournament. So, you know, that was a big deal that McCall beat him. So I, I can't wait to see what this guy is capable of doing. If you look at some of his tape, Montague has really good power. He's got a solid ground game. Um, he can switch stances. He can hurt you with both hands. So you know, he's a very dynamic fighter. But uh, Dodson, on the other hand, is one of the most powerful one-punch fighters in the flyweight division. He's a finisher. Montague's a finisher, too. So I actually kind of like the, the under. Really? It's under two and a half. You know, that's a lot of leeway on them getting a finish. And the odds there, plus 155, are pretty good because these guys hit really, really hard. So there's a very good chance that somebody's getting finished. And uh, I, I actually like that bet better than anything here. Nick, what do you think about that guy? You know, when I see flyweight fights like these, you know, high profile flyweight fights, I'm usually looking towards uh, the fights going the distance. But uh, Brian disagrees. What do you think? Yeah, you know what? Most of the time, flyweights, you want to bet that over because right. a lot of people believe they don't have enough power to kind of get the job done. They're so well-rounded with their skill sets. They neutralize each other a lot. But in this fight, it's hard to argue with Brian here. I mean, John Dotson, I mean, he doesn't hit like a flyweight. The guy mm -hmm. hits like a welterweight at times. So there's no doubt about it. He's the hardest puncher in the division. I mean, he was almost champ. He, he rocked Demetrius Johnson. Let's not forget that. And he took him to a very, very competitive decision. So John Dotson is that good. I'm not going to get too much detail about this fight because this is probably going to be on our premium MMA Oz uh, okay. premium service so i don't want to get in too much detail but i do like what brian said about um, so much knockout power between both guys and yeah i mean there's no way i would be confident on betting the over in this fight so what let me ask you about the the action then i mean you know dodson obviously i can see a lot why the public would would love to be betting him here but montague has a lot of fans he has a lot of people who are very excited for him to uh, to be joining the ufc now i could see him taking a lot of action as well so i'm guessing maybe you have like pretty big action on this fight that's split well, we're going to have split action. Of course, mm -hmm. the line did uh, increase a little bit. Uh, more people early on are coming in on Dodson. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised by that because he's got the name recognition over uh, Montague. So a lot of people really don't know. Outside of the diehard fans, don't know who he is. Mm -hmm. um, so I think they're going to be probably siding with Dodson a little bit more so than not. Um, but at the, where the price is right now, it's a tough one because, like I said, John Dodson is so well-rounded. I mean, like we just covered, he's got that knockout power, no doubt about it. He's got the wrestling edge. He's got a lot of advantages in fight. But Montague, uh, one of those guys, that has been on the UFC's radar for a while, and they're bringing him in for a reason. Brian, uh, if you had to make a bet here, I'm assuming that you would take the under 2.5 plus 155? Yeah, that's my bet. And uh, for picks, I'm still leaning Dodson. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Montague is very talented, but Dodson can take a punch really well. And, you know, for people that say that Dodson has cardio issues, that really only factored in in rounds four and five after he had just been beating on Demetrius Johnson. So in a three round fight, that shouldn't be a problem whatsoever for Dodson. So he should be good to go being able to land that huge shot for three straight rounds. So uh, I still like John Dodson to win. Okay. Sounds good. And that wraps up our UFC 166 preview. Thanks so much.